Welcome to VTTV News. I'm Ryan Wilder. And I'm Art Clark. The school is currently undertaking a bottle caps for prosthetic drive in partnership with the Acushnet Lions Club and Disabled American Veterans. The mission of the drive is to collect as many plastic caps as possible from water bottles and other sources. These plastic caps will then be melted down and used with a 3D printer to create prosthetic limbs for veterans in need. The drive is being organized by culinary arts teacher Mr. Hoyle, who served as a former member and president of the club for 15 years. The school is extremely proud to collaborate with these two organizations and support this initiative. Further information can be found on the Disabled American Veterans Chapter 57 blog. GNB Vogue Tech had a college fair that was open to both juniors and seniors. Held in the Fieldhouse, representatives from several colleges were attempting to pique students' interest by discussing what their institutions have to offer. Students had the opportunity to wander around, look at all the available majors and diplomas, and ask any additional questions. Each college provided free items such as pens, lanyards, and trinkets to students in an effort to spark their interest in learning more about higher education. Most students left with pamphlets and booklets with information about some of their most liked colleges. A group of educators here at GNB Vogue Tech have developed a series of engaging lessons that encourage students to get more involved with historical topics in hopes to enhance the World History One curriculum and foster collaborative learning. Thanks to the tireless efforts of Mr. Rodriguez and Ms. LeBlanc, this initiative has been quite successful. The two have worked diligently to make these lessons a reality by bringing together students from different classes, backgrounds, and cultures, they are able to create an inclusive environment. Students have already shown retention of course material, proving that collaboration lessons like these can be used as a powerful tool for effective learning. Between September 15th and October 15th, Hispanic Heritage Month has been celebrated in the U.S. for more than 50 years. It was a time to honor and celebrate contributions, traditions, and diversity of Hispanic and Latino culture, which include roots to Spain, Mexico, Central America, South America, and Spanish-speaking nations of the Caribbean. 20% of the U.S. population identifies as Hispanic, which means more than 62 million people in the U.S., or one in five people, identify as Hispanic. Let's celebrate Hispanic culture all year long by enjoying Hispanic music, foods, reading books by Hispanic authors, or learning to speak Spanish. Mr. Francis hosts the Tabletop Gaming Club for students to interact and have fun without a screen. Students play a variety of board and card games that allow them to cooperate and compete against each other while honing their problem-solving skills. Some games played at the club are Uno, Dungeons & Dragons, and Magic the Gathering. It's held after school every Tuesday in room 318. All students are welcome to join. Some students recently took their PSAT exams. These exams help students practice for their SATs and are administered by the College Board. An SAT is a multiple choice standardized test used in entrance exams in most colleges. They are usually offered seven times a year so students are now getting a head start by taking a practice test. For more information, please contact the school's guidance counselor about SAT testing. GNB Evoke Tech invites local community members to come support the reopening of Salon 20. Run by the Seniors in Cosmetology, the salon offers services such as hairstyling, hair coloring, nails, and waxing for an affordable price. The salon is open from 8.15 to 10.45 and again 12.15 to 1.30 on cycles days 2 through 5. For convenience, the salon is now accepting all major credit cards and to book an appointment, either call extension 320 or schedule online at www.gnbvt.edu forward slash cosmetology. Be on the lookout for specials sent through emails during the school year and come support our talented stylists, allowing them to further advance their skills. As a new year gets started, students are eager to participate in clubs and activities after school. The Origami Club is a favorite among students. Any student who wants to join the club is welcome to do so. It takes place on Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.55 in room B332. Students will learn to master the traditional Japanese art of paper folding here. The club takes pride in encouraging students that attend to be creative. Students will be taught how to fold paper into things such as animals, flowers, and other usable objects. Join the Origami Club to meet new people and gain new experiences. The annual homecoming football game had a huge turnout. The theme for this game was country club versus country. Many students dressed up to support the Vogue Tech Bears. Unfortunately, the Bears lost by nine points, leaving the ending score at 14 to five. We would like to thank everybody who showed up for supporting their team and are looking forward to all future games for our Bears. GNB Vogue Tech had its annual homecoming dance. The dance was held in the main lobby. Mr. Methia and the student council held this event. Only GNB Vogue Tech students were allowed at this event. 
the homecoming dance was a huge success, with over a thousand tickets sold. All proceeds go towards the GNB Vogue Tech Spirit account. Also, congratulations to Daniel Ward and Joama Rodriguez Baptista for winning Homecoming King and Queen. There have been a few updates this school year, and one appears to be the Lighthouse Cafe. The Lighthouse Cafe is the school cafe located next to the culinary shop in front of the student forum. The Lighthouse Cafe's renovation began on June 12, 2023, and finished the second week of school. The cafe and program was renovated to modernize their space, and they received a workforce development grant that covered all the cost. It was renovated and designed by a collective team consisting of instructors, designers, engineers, a general contractor, and our facilities department. The new cafe has been modernized with all new equipment and a new look. They enhanced their bakery and coffee areas by adding new display cases and an espresso machine. They also added an area for merchandising grab-and-go items as well as a spot to pick up online orders. Faculty and staff are encouraged to stop by and check out the new renovations. Thank you for watching VTTV News. Tune in next time.